Hi, I'm Max Harwell, Senior Field Service Engineer at Honeywell. Today I want to show you how to the process of removal for inspection, cleaning, possibly replacement of transducers in what we would call a legacy meter, QSonic 3, QSonic 5 series meter, electronic series 4, series 3, possibly older. We're going to perform this on a, a real meter, but it's under a demo circumstance, so we have no pressure other than atmospheric air on this meter. Um, the procedure that I'm going to be illustrating for you will be based on the fact that we that you have depressurized the meter in the field. So we're blown down the meter, taking the gas pressure off of it. Obviously, you've complied with all your safety procedures at your company, your permits, your lockout tag outs, and so forth, and the meter's blown down and it's safe to, to work on. So first off, we would cut any, any uh, tie wraps that are going to restrict the, the movement of the cable. And if, we're, if the idea is to replace the transducer, we would have to be prepared to open the junction box up, disconnect the cables, and be able to take the cables out of the cable glands. In order to do that safely, we would need to power down the electronics as well. I need a large crescent wrench just to break the torque on the nut. Simply loosen the nut completely. Put the nut out of our way. At this point, we can just twist a little bit, pull this transducer right out of the seal housing. We can have a look at the face of the transducer. If we needed to clean this, we could use a rag or some mild solvent, no acetone, real strong solvents. If we needed to replace the transducer again, we would need to disconnect the cable from the board, take the Phoenix connector off of the cable so that we could remove the cable through from the cable gland. Replacement of transducers on the legacy style meter would involve a pair of new transducers. The transducers for this type of meter were, came in, in pairs. So we wouldn't just replace one, but not the other, we would replace the pair. A replacement pair might look like this. This is a different frequency of transducer. That's an, an issue about compatibility with the electronics, about the frequency of the transducer, and so forth. We would remove the cap before we put the transducer in the meter. For reinstallation, we might need to replace this O-ring in the top of the seal housing if it doesn't fit well. The transducer replacement kits come with replacement O-rings and also the quad rings that are down in the seal housing here, if they need to be replaced, can also be replaced. So we just line this transducer up carefully with the hole, slide this down in here slowly until it reaches the bottom. Start the nut. Now we're just going to tighten this by hand until it until it's hand tight. Torque spec on this nut is 40 foot pounds. So on a 24 inch wrench, you don't have to put a lot of force out here on the end to have 40 foot pounds on that nut. It's not critical. The idea is just to make the nut tight enough so that it wouldn't come loose under vibration. We could proceed to do the same operation on all the transducers on the meter if we needed to clean and inspect. Or if we were just going to replace a pair of transducers that needed to be replaced, we would perform the same operation on the, the pair made of the transducer we first started with. That's our procedure for today. Thanks for watching our video.